Grace and peace be with you. Hi, my name is Mark. I'm the pastor at Sycamore Creek in Potterville. I have a brief thought for you today, and it's from my devotions where I'm entering into Galatians chapter 5. We're going to look today at verse 1, just one verse. As the 4th of July is coming up soon, freedom is definitely one of the things that we will celebrate in the United States. There are certain freedoms that we have in the United States. But Paul, in this passage and in Galatians, he's writing to us about the best kind of freedom. You see, Paul has told us about the covenant that God made with Abraham and how it's superior to the one made through Moses. And Paul has asserted that God's grace trumps the law. Now, Paul is telling us that grace leads to freedom. He's going to emphasize freedom while the law leads to bondage, rules and restrictions. And the goal of the gospel is always the goal of the good news is always freedom. Paul says that in chapter 5, verse 1. He also says that in Galatians 5, verse 13, which will start another section. You see, the gospel is freedom or, or liberty from the law and freedom from bondage to sin. Paul reminds us to stand firm in this freedom, to stand firm in this freedom, because we'll be tempted to be drawn back into bondage to the law. It's hard to live in the freedom of Christ. There's a draw that we naturally have toward rules and toward structures as what saves us. But they don't. They don't. Paul makes it clear again and again that trying to live into some standard or some set of rules that we might have for ourselves or that we find externally through some source, that won't work. We can't do it. It's not real freedom. And he, Paul reminds us today that Christ has set you free. To stand firm then and to live in that freedom that we have through Christ. By God's grace, may you do that. Grace and peace be with you.